Now, in this episode, we just got introduced to one of the most unique stands ever to be created in this series. Even further down the line, you haven't really seen a stand like this before and probably never will for a very long time. Now, before I get into that, let's talk about the beginning of this episode of JoJo Bizarre Adventures, Golden Wind. We finish things off with Babyface. Babyface, in a way, turns out it progresses. The longer it lives, the more it adapts, the more it learns, and the powerful it gets. So a stand like this is easy for you to kill immediately instead of prolonging things. Because the longer you let the thing live, the more it's going to learn. So it was able to actually increase the range and to even get bigger by the rage. And that was actually thanks to the female part of the genes that the stand was created by. However, Juno was able to think faster on his feet thanks to actually putting the bike inside of him. Using a nice trick tactic by pretending he had his real hand from Golden Experience, but actually it was something else. It was the bike. And of course, with well, inside a bike, there's gasoline, and there's ways to make bikes explode. And because of that, it was able to blow up so fast and powerful to the point that Babyface could not regenerate or tear itself apart. Therefore, killing the stand extremely fast, so it wouldn't have time to recover itself. Therefore, it was a very smart move on Jerno, but again, this series requires a lot of quick thinking in order for you to live. Because if you're not thinking fast on your feet, man, you are good as dead in this series. And that's all I gotta say about that. So, with that being said, we all thought, you know, Milne can easily just... He still had Burachi's blood, so he could just easily find another good female host and create another stand, probably with new abilities. In fact, this would have been a lot more interesting if they let that happen. However, that didn't happen instead. Instead, we just got him dying because Jerno, of course, things that belong to certain creatures will retrace itself back to where it belongs. So he used that the leftovers of the stand in order to create the snake. Which, of course, snake bit him on the tongue, and therefore now he is dead. And it was a poison snake, by the way, so yeah, no more Milanate. Even when I read this part in the manga, I really wish they would use that character a little bit more since his stand could be more used in a variety of kind of ways. Who knows what kind of stands this guy could have created by using different people's kind of blood. That would have been very interesting to see, but unfortunately, they have to keep things going. Now is next, of course. We know how we do this. It's time for our next hitman to come out. And that is, um, Giaccio. Giaccio has a very interesting personality. He's the kind of dude, he looks intelligent, but however, he let the little things get to him. We have that one person in every group in our family or within our peers that let the little things get to him. Where he thinks about something and he says, that makes no freaking sense. That is stupid. Why do they do this? They could make things a lot more simpler for themselves. And when I see him act this way and through animation, I liked it even more. Because it became more relatable when he was doing things. There's times where I'm like... Why do they do this? There's a simpler way to do this, or why do they call that this and not call that that? It makes no sense at all. So I mean, those kind of things kind of tee you off. However, he does a very over-exaggeration compared to what um, Giaccio does. Now, Giaccio's stand, like I said before in the beginning, is the most unique stand, one of the most unique stands, and that is White Album. White Album is a stand that actually is like armor. It comes on to you. A stand that I've never seen like that before. A stand that is very interesting, but I wouldn't want it because, you know, it's dangerous. It's, I want something more convenient instead of it being powerful. I work over convenience over power any day. So, White Album, however, is still very interesting. And surprisingly, it's never been inside of a JoJo fighting game. It makes you wonder if the a stand like that could be easily used in a JoJo fighting game, but I don't know why. I guess he wasn't popular enough. But they could have used them, you know, DLC characters. Who knows? I, Eyes of Heaven is still out. They can do that. But anyways, the ability is that it can create things which is under pretty much minus 100 Celsius. That's extremely fast. That's like glacier-like kind of ice. Something where not even... No living organisms can exist. Therefore, Golden Wind is kind of irrelevant at the time. Golden Wind also responds through heat. One of his powers, we already know, is when it punches someone, they lose 
their um, senses while they go out of control. And the other one is when he's not attacking, you can encounter people that fight him back. But one of the main abilities he usually uses is when he turns inanimate objects to living things. And with that, it's he can't do that since it's extremely cold. Because by album made things so frozen in such a quick pace, fashion most people can swim, according to the Wikipedia, where Missia, even if he moved his face from the window, it will be torn off. But if he kept it there, his brain would be severely damaged. He already lost his stinger, which was on the window, for God's sakes, which is something I don't want to witness or happen to me whatsoever. Like, ugh, I don't want to lose my fingers like that. And then again, you probably don't feel it because it's similar to frostbite, finally, where it's so freaking cold that all your nervous systems are pretty much damaged, messed up, and you can't feel a damn thing. So yeah, that's kind of freaky. And not only that, he also has freaking ice blades, man. And he can go at a really fast pace. Now, this stand is extremely powerful, but however, it stands out way too much for it to be called a hitman. The other stands before then, at least were at least sneaky, you know? You can understand how they act through assassination, through their stands. You know, man in the mirror, um, little feet, and stuff like that. Um, Beach Boy, Ungrateful Dead, those stands can at least be sneaky. This one, you're seeing this guy just moving at fast pace, and wherever he goes, ice is following him. If you see that in real life, you're like, you can't question, you're gonna question, like, what's going on over there? So his stand really does stand out a lot. And so I don't see how he made a hitman. Like, he's very powerful, but I don't see how he made something a hitman. A mercenary or something, yeah, sure. But hitman? Kind of stretching it, if you ask me. But nonetheless, his personality is good, and I do love his stand. Very interesting. And like I said before, it's a, it's a damn shame that they didn't use him for any JoJo fighting games. You know, I would love to play a character like that. He seems funny, he seems interesting, and his stand powers are very cool, you know. You know, all puns aside. Yeah, I, just, I do like this character. So, how will Juno fight this unique stand to a unique stand? How will they overcome this? We will find out next time on JoJo Fridays. So yeah, if you guys will enjoy this video, if you're enjoying JoJo, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload. Macron Anime, signing out.